This is the first project that I cut on my Onefinity Journeyman X50. It was one of the projects that VCarve offers for a, a demo or uh, part of the initial package when you buy it. It was uh, started out with a quarter inch uh, two flute end mill to clear out uh, as much as possible and then a 60 degree V cut bit. Um, just in a piece of plywood, I used the uh, trick of, not really a trick, a method of uh, taping it down. I put painter's tape on the table and then painter's tape on the back of the plywood and super glue in between. It seemed to work very well. The uh, entire process went pretty smooth. Uh, I was very happy with the operation of the machine. shot of the information screen. You can see uh, it's about 67% of the way done. The amount of time, the estimated time, the feed rate, the velocity, the spindle speed. This is the final tool. I'm doing a changeover to another quarter inch or the same quarter inch for the cutout. Uh, right there you can see me using the tool set for Z. You can also use it for X and Y, and that is a great addition to the machine. If you've used CNC before and uh, paper touch off, uh, that little box is well worth the money. It makes it a lot quicker. This is the final product with some paint and some lacquer on top of the bare wood and paint. During the operation in tool change, I noticed that the spindle was getting hot to the touch. I tried to capture it in this video with infrared, and this shows it getting up to about 110, but when I used a touch probe, I could uh, get readings up to 135 or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The manufacturer agreed that it was running way too hot. We did some troubleshooting over the phone and the internet, however, they decided the best solution was to send out a new spindle. I replaced the spindle and it maintained a temperature of 85 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit while running even long programs.